All right, what is up? This is Soul Plays back from Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. So today, guys, we're actually going to be doing a revisit for a mod showcase that I recently just did. I know this is sort of uh, different, out of the blue, and you guys probably weren't really expecting it to be this soon. But pretty much, I recently just did a Gosuke mod showcase, as you can see right here. And there's one transformation that I did not showcase, and you guys were really confused about it, and... It's all my B, my bad, man. I'm just super, super sorry. I want to apologize to you guys. I should have clarified that it was not working. It kept crashing my game because every time I do mods, I want to pretty much test them out, make sure that everything's working and it's fully functional. Sometimes uh, I find things during the video that actually fuck up, but I didn't want to redo the video like four times. So I ended up just scrapping it and not including it. So I decided to just go for the Super Susano. And I think that's how you pronounce it. You guys made sure to clarify uh, on the pronunciation of that as well. So if I fuck that up, I apologize. But yeah, pretty much uh, that was the reasoning behind me only doing this initial transformation. But I finally, finally got it working. I'm very excited to be covering it. And I'm super OCD when it comes to this shit. So I have to showcase it as well as throwing in something very cool that I found, which was uh, Goku in this sage outfit. So it kind of goes with that Naruto sort of tone or... I guess theme in a way so before we get started with this video guys do me a huge favor and hit that like button sure to reach 15 likes on this video they'd be amazing I'd really appreciate it plus shows that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content on this channel as well as the continuation of the mod series so let's go ahead and check out the moveset for this dude right here we got Super Godfist, Tyrant Lancer, Powerful Combo, Max Charge, Sage Art, Mini, Biju, Bombs, Super Kamehameha, and then we have the Sage Barrier and a Super Saiyan Stage Mode, as well as the Super Soul. I actually felt that one. So, very cool stuff. I think this mod was actually created by my boy Stelter, and yeah, pretty much it's just a, I guess, skin sort of outfit and a couple of different movesets and transformations. Really basic stuff, but I love it. So, shoutouts to both him and my boy Lacone. Both going to be in the description below. You guys can check them out. And we're going to just do this sort of Naruto-based, I guess, inspired battle and everything. And show off this Divine Susanoo transformation. It's really cool. It's like a Super Saiyan God Blue combined with the Susanoo, like, purple, like, rib cage kind of thing. I don't know. It gets larger. It gets a lot larger. So, we're pretty much redoing the showcase. And I feel bad that, you know, I had to do this. But, you know, at the same time, it's necessary because it's such a cool fucking mod. So, I'm going to go ahead and just fuck him up right here. We're going to charge up her key. And uh, just, you know, playing through this, it gets me hyped. It gets me super hyped to get back into Naruto. So we're just going to go straight into the transformation. Look at this, man. It has got the purple aura. It's so awesome. So, yeah, as I said, I really want to get back into Naruto Shippuden and learn some more about the series and everything. Because initially, whenever I was watching it, uh, it got to a point where there's too many filler episodes. And I just got burnt out on watching it, so I just took a break. And uh, now that I think the series is, like, officially over now, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I want to definitely get back into that shit, man. It's such a good anime. And uh, anybody that says, oh, you're a hype beast or whatever for it, you know, those are garbage fucking animes. I mean, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Bleach, they're all OG and shit. But we got Dimension Ray right here, which looks really badass. And I did not get that. Let's try out this... Uh, melee skill thing but yeah i feel like this is a good uh i guess way of covering this mod in a little bit more depth than i did before so let's try and do more of these like enton or enton kamehameha what is this shit it's like a sort of like black thing what, what the it's like a materasu almost is that what that thing's called the the black one the black flames that are like they can't be extinguished or something like that i don't know dude i feel so bad that i don't know a lot about uh you know the entire series so that's why like i said i need to incorporate some more knowledge and ingrain it into my mind so that i can cover these uh a lot more in a proper manner i guess but come on let's do this shit i just want to use dimension ray oh shit that is so cool so there it is man super saiyan god blue divine divine susanu it looks so cool like Look at that. He also has, I just noticed, the Rinnegan. I know that's the Rinnegan, okay? It's like the Rinnegan with the Tomo or whatever it's called. The little, like, symbol things on there, which is pretty cool. So, let's go and try out this Goku in his Sage outfit. Like I said, I'm just going to throw this one in there. Go against Gosuke, the double Goku battle. And we'll go to, um, I guess the Wasteland because it's a pretty cool stage. And, yeah, I'm just really excited for the Xenoverse 2 DLC pack number three reveal. So we actually are getting this, I think, on the 20th. 
I don't know when uh, this video will be going up because I'm recording this, I think, on like the 18th or the 19th. So, probably on Thursday is the actual, like, coverage of this, like, new DLC pack and everything. We're going to get some more information, gameplay, all that good shit. So, I'm really excited. Hopefully, you guys are too. Once we get, like, an official release date and launch for it, it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to be trying this shit out. But Goku and his Sage outfit looks damn cool. Holy crap. Okay, let's do some big damage here. Oh, look at that shit. Let's charge it up, and let's try out this. Ooh, it goes Super Saiyan 3. Okay, so let's use these mini Biju bombs real quick. I just want to see what this does. Holy crap. This is Naruto video, man. We're going full-on shitbooting mode. Oh, shit. Look at that. He's got, like, orange eyes. What the hell? Is that, like, the nine-tailed, like, chakra mode or some shit like that? I don't know. This is, his design is really cool with the clothing, so... Yeah, just shout out to Stelter, man. This is damn cool. Super Saiyan 3 time. See, I'm covering all transformations now. As long as they don't glitch out. That's the one thing about mods that is really unfortunate. Sometimes I fuck things up and I found out what the problem was. It actually took me like three, almost four hours to fix it this morning. I was trying so hard to get it working. And it was a file in, I think, like the character model like folder or something like that it was this random one from a mod that i installed that wasn't supposed to be there and it was through the x2m and it got fucked up and i don't know why it just screwed up this transformation but you know it was just a lot of troubleshooting and i don't know how i figured out that that was the problem but it just looked like it was out of place it didn't belong there and that's the one good thing about doing mods and you know going through all these files you start learning and noticing the differences and problems with like certain files and shit so you know where they're supposed to go and why they're giving you an issue so once you delete them you know it's like a process of elimination in a sense so we got it working i'm just really glad it's all good in the hood and there it is man that is so badass these two models are really cool like naruto and dragon ball z fusions like let's let's get a crossover or some shit sometime soon i think that'd be awesome like dragon ball super and boruto or whatever the fuck his like little son's name is Bo it's like bolt i think that's his like english pronunciation in a way but just call him boruto <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much going to it for this video thank you all so much for watching and thank you guys so much for your feedback on the last one you know you guys pointing out that you really wanted to see that transformation um you know it it touched me. It touched me right at the heart. So we had to do it. It was awesome. And his blue hair and the like, the purple like rib cage sort of thing was damn cool. And uh, to compensate for it, I wanted to throw in this sage outfit for Goku. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.